I'll have to tell you a story about making plans far ahead. And it involves a friend of mine, Dave Duffy, who owns a funeral home up in Columbia, Missouri. About two years ago, I had a real nice point of pup that Dave liked. And he kept looking at him and wondering if, if I would price him. And I says, Dave, I says, I'll tell you what, let me ask you two, three questions, then we'll talk about the dog. He says, what's that? I says, when you have bodies cremated, what does it cost you? He says, oh, I'll charge you about $350. I said, now, wait a minute. I said, I know that you don't do the cremation. You have a, another funeral home who has a crematory that does it for you. What do they charge you? He said, Troy, I don't mind telling you. He said, about $160. I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a real good bargain. He says, what's that? I said, if you'll take care of cremating me when I kick the bucket and coming and getting my body wherever I might drop in Missouri, no charge, I'll give you that puppy. I said, that puppy's worth two, three hundred dollars and you don't have much to lose. Well, he laughed, and he laughed, and he laughed. He said, you can't possibly be serious. I said, I've never been more serious in my life. I said, it'll save my wife a lot of bother and some money, and you'll have a nice pup. Well, he had a friend, David Knight, local attorney, with him, and they got to laughing and laughing. And finally, he says, listen, he says, I'll tell you what. You got yourself a deal. So we shook hands and had a highball. And they left, and I found out later from Duffy that he and his friend Dave Knight stayed up rather late and had a few more highballs trying to think of an appropriate name for this young point of pup. And considering all the circumstances, they decided they'd call him Torch. <laughs> well, Poor old Torch just didn't turn out to be as great a dog as we'd all hoped for. Pretty good bird dog, but he loved to chase deer. And Duffy worked and worked with him and couldn't get him off the deer. So he finally gave him to a friend of mine because he just figured he'd never break him. And that fellow tried for a couple of years and he never could get him off a deer either. So. We got to laughing about it later, and Duffy tells me that when I kicked the bucket, <coughs> in view of all that's happened, he and his friend are going to get together and sit by that crematorium, since the dog didn't turn out worth hoot. They're going to have a few drinks, and they're going to burn me real <laughs> slow. Well, I don't know whether that's a morbid story or not. I don't think it is. I'll tell you what it is. It's just good planning. I mean, how are you going to beat that? Not a bad deal. I know you got it all taken care of before you kick the bucket. <laughs>